Governor Polis laid out his priorities for the year at his annual State of the State address today. They include finding solutions for affordable housing, reliable transportation, and fighting climate change. A key point of his speech was cutting the income tax rate to further Colorado's economic growth. Taxes are simply too high. Income taxes, property taxes, and the state sales tax. We ignore that sim signal at our own peril. And I challenge Democrats and Republicans to work together to improve our economic growth and success by not taking taxes that we can't keep anyway, and instead working on a bold and balanced and progressive package, including cutting the income tax rate. Governor Polis says the state's large Tabor surplus is also factoring into high taxes. With some of the governor's priorities, including housing and transit, we wanted to know how he plans to get local governments on board. News 5's Allison Zimmerman sat down with the governor to talk about his plans. One of the only direct solutions Governor Polis provided with affordable housing today is allowing homeowners across the state to build accessory dwelling units or ADUs. Well, there's no single silver bullet on housing. Finding a place to live that's affordable is becoming a challenge for Coloradans throughout the state. And Governor Polis says it's one of his major priorities for 2024. Last year, a sweeping land use bill failed in the legislature. So there's going to be a number of bills to do that um, rather than kind of one omnibus, you know, six, seven, eight bills that look at different aspects of this. That One of the only specific policies he laid out for affordable housing, expanding the use of accessory dwelling units across the state. Polis says it should be up to homeowners to decide if they want them. It's not about telling local governments anything. It's really about what private property rights we have under the framework of Colorado law for a matter of statewide concern. So Colorado Springs Mayor Yemi Mobilade says there's a place for ADUs in Colorado Springs. Absolutely. There's space for ADUs. Again, our own zoning laws allow that um, uh, ADUs. That now there's, uh, there's room for um, improvements in terms of um, how we help our residents understand how to go about taking advantage of that. Polis wants to give financial incentives to homeowners through tax reductions. Our, our housing package are tax credits, which are the uh, uh, conventional way that both the federal government and the state has incentivized development. Polis says there would be some restrictions. For example, the ADU could not be used as a vacation rental. Another focus of the governor, creating more transit options like the Front Range Rail, which he says federal funding could make it a possibility in the next few years. He believes access to transit will also help with his affordable housing plans. And if you want to drive a car, drive a car. And by the way, people who choose to drive cars will benefit from less traffic on our roads if more people can live close to job centers and have access to transit as well. In Denver, Allison Zimmerman, News 5.